Wow, the special stuff doesn't stop for you, Terrifics, today. I missed you during the break. I'm so glad to be back, and I'm so glad that you're back. We're back from break. This is your live official continuing coverage of Photo Plus 2015 in New York City at the Jacob K. Javits Center, only on Be Terrific. You could also be watching on PhotoPlusExpo.com and Planet5D.com, along with the rest of our syndication partners, many of whom are amazing. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Connect at BeTerrific.com for email. Keep the positive feedback coming. At BeTerrificTV on all social media. And of course, join our Slack chat, BeTerrific.com slash Slack. I've got Nicole here from Pro Drones. You guys have an amazing, amazing product. Um, I'm very impressed by this. I, you know, I know a lot about drones. We just, I just did the FAA MA convention and moderated the drone panel between the FAA, DJI, one of the drone companies, and uh, somebody who's lobbying uh, with his coalition on behalf of uh, drone pilots everywhere. Uh, hopefully in the next week or two it'll get approved by the FAA to, for us to put that up and live stream it. That has to go through the legal process um, and people will be able to see it because I think it was very informative. There's a lot of information we have to get out there. Flight safety is most important. You and I will talk about that. But I don't get impressed much by the products. It's like, okay, that drone, this drone, this drone, this drone, I've seen it, I get it. You got the GPS and it's got to find its way home. But this, this my friend, I am very impressed by and blown away by and you're a sharp dresser. I, Thank you. I like all of those things. Thanks for coming by. Absolutely. Um, so talk about the Pro Drone, because I think it's, like, you, you, where are the props? Where, what's going on here? Absolutely, you know, one of the biggest things that people have had a problem with in the industry is portability. Uh, a lot of the drones out there, they have the gimbal, everything is fully attached. It takes a big Pelican box to take it with you. What we were able to do- Don't we know it, by the way. <laughs> indeed. Uh, for one of the first things we did is have a fully removable gimbal setup. So we have fully interchangeable, we've got the GoPro that everybody's got in their pockets right now. We've got a HD camera, a 4K camera, and an infrared camera for our boys in blue and everybody that's wanting it out there uh, for uh, uh, search and rescue. Wow, that is awesome, awesome. And I see you have, I believe these are antennas for wireless transmission back? Indeed, full HD downlink, you don't have to buy anything extra, it comes with it, fully set to go. Unbelievable. Wow, I am really impressed. Okay, so this comes off so it's easier to store, and then what? You so then we have what kind of looks like a PlayStation 4. But uh, so easy, throw it in your backpack. When you want to get to where you're going, you simply unfold the possibilities. Come on. And then you are ready to go. This is really ready to fly? That is ready to fly. And then we just put this back in, which I'm going to let you do so I don't break it. And wow, that gimbal is really nice, by the way. This is unbelievable. Okay, so where's the battery go? The uh, battery is on top, and on it's a top. full 7,000 milliamp, which gets us 30 minutes of flight time. Wow, 7,000 and 30 minutes. That's longer than anybody I've heard of. Absolutely. All right, so now we put it in there, and d talk about some of the features. Does it have, uh, and, and I mean, I'm just sorry, my mind is, you, you actually made me like speechless. <laughs> you just messed Excellent. me up. I, I, I'm like, rrr, 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 the pinball. I'm like, rrr. I'm like, rrr. okay, uh, yeah, does, does it have the GPS? Does it have to find its way home? Do I have an altimeter so I know how high I'm flying? What does the controller do? Can I watch it on my, do you have an app? I can watch it on my phone or whatever? All of the above. So Darn. just like all the other drones out on the marketplace right now, the software is very, uh, very similar. Uh, you've got a follow me feature where it can uh, follow a point of interest, so it can circle you, it'll lead you, or it'll follow you. It has return to home if it loses signal. We also have a panic button uh, on the controller itself that will allow you to instantly return home. Um, waypoint flying for those individuals out there that we've had a lot today that are wedding photographers, other aspects that have no interest in learning to be a drone pilot, they, they just need do, to get the footage. They just want that footage. So one touch uh, button on the app, and it will set your waypoints. It'll fly for you, it will land for you. Uh, so really great for those guys who want to add a little bit extra to their tool set um, and uh, you know, sell in on uh, uh, aerial foot, uh, photography without having to become a drone wow. pilot. Very, very cool. And what about the price point? Price point uh, just announced yesterday for the base model that comes with our HD camera. Um, with the gimbal. Your own HD camera. Our not, own not HD for a camera. GoPro, okay. Um, that comes in at the base price of $949. So under $1,000. Under $1,000. And that's with, again, that's with the camera, with the gimbal, app, everything ready to fly. Wow. 
And then um, how much would this model be? This model that you're looking at right here that comes with the fully integrated HD or uh, uh, GoPro, yep. uh, sans the GoPro uh, camera itself, right. 1,059. That's not bad. Really? Wow. That's really, both are very reasonable. How Absolutely. far will it uh, transmit video from me? It will transmit video for the full 1.25 miles. What? What? Full HD video downlink at 1.25 miles. Are you serious? Absolutely. That's unbelievable. Uh, 1.25 miles? 1.25 miles. Wow. Not only that, because we have an extra Wi-Fi integrated system in the controller itself, you can share that video downlink with four to five other devices within serious? about a 60 foot radius of you. I'm, I'm blown away, I really, really am. Um, this is unbelievable, and by doing that, you could actually capture the video onto a video recorder and also pipe it to Video Village if you were making a film or something. Indeed, and because it can go to your cell phone, that's got a, if it's got a cell signal, you can actually transmit that data anywhere in the world. Wow, that is pretty cool, and we could probably bring it into our switcher live, so we could Absolutely. actually fly it around the Javits here. I mean, if we, not if we were allowed yeah, to fly if it we around. We were allowed the to. I'm just saying we'd have an aerial shot. Indeed. That's does it hover? Tricky safety issue again. Yeah. Well, we're going to talk safety in a minute. Does it hover? Does it hold its place? It does. Uh, uh, with the GPS connections, you've got seven different uh, at any time, seven different GPS signals that will allow it to uh, you know hold its position. Uh, again, because the altimeter, uh, you can push it down. It'll come back up. Uh, it can bite into 35 mile an hour winds to stay at that position for 30 minutes. Wow. Th 30 minutes. At 35 mile an hour winds? Absolutely. This is insane. All right, there's got to be some drawback. Like, it's got to be really hard to set up or use or something. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no drawbacks. Um, super wait, wait easy a second. So you're up. beating everybody on price point. And if you're using the GoPro, I don't know how your camera looks, I don't know. But if you're using the GoPro, it's at least as good as everybody else's because a Absolutely. lot of people are using a GoPro. You can transmit the video 1.25 miles. 1.25 miles. Okay, that's one and a quarter miles. If I, did I do the math right? You did. Two five, yeah, okay. <laughs> so. Um, there you go, carry the one. All right, so we got it. 1.25 miles, one and a quarter miles from you. Um, and, I, I mean, it's got every other feature you would want. I, I just, I feel like I'm missing something because of the price point, it seems too low. It seems too low, yeah. uh, but that's the reason we wanted uh, a drone to be for every man. Yeah. Uh, everybody, anywhere, take it with you, on the go. Uh, no need for that big Pelican box. It literally goes into your back. All right, let's say I crash it and I, I, I screw these props up. How hard is it to get new props? That's going to be the issue. Uh, the props are very easy. You unscrew the top, you put the prop back on, screw it again, and it will never uh, come off in the air because it's uh, counterintuitive on the direction of the uh, props. How did you get involved with Pro Drone and making drones and stuff like that? Yeah, well, I've been in the drone industry for about four years now. Started off uh, at the very early days of launching DJI. Um, so we've known exactly what people want and what when the it issues comes were. to and what the issues are when it comes to when it comes to safety, when it comes to portability, when it comes to customer service. So let me we're ask you all I, I'll tell you quite honestly. When I interviewed the gentleman from DJI, he was a very nice guy. Um, when I when I moderated the panel, he was a nice guy, but he was a little rough around the edges. It seemed like. DJI, or his stance was, quite honestly, this was my take, look, we've added safety features, we're happy with the safety features we've added, at some point the flyer has to have responsibility, which I don't disagree with, and from there on, it's now your problem, and mm -hmm. we don't want to see regulation, we don't want to see, we don't care about safety, we just want to make money. It seemed like the issue was, we just want to make money. I'm not knocking DJI, I'm not saying that he, although official spokesman, I'm not saying that that was the official stance, but it just seemed to me like money trumps safety, and I never think that's the case. So, how do you feel you can fly the safest, and are you guys really committed to safety? Absolutely, 100% committed to safety. We want to see actually more regulations coming I agree. from the FAA. Love the idea of making sure that every one of these is registered. You're far less likely to do something that you're not really supposed to do if you know that you can get in trouble because you're doing the wrong thing. I agree, I think everybody should be licensed, registered. I think nobody under the age of 12 should be able to use a drone like this or you could come up with whatever age you want. I think it's not very much different than driving a car. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that uh, you can cause, accidentally cause a lot of havoc with this. Uh, you know, if you crash it onto a highway or a busy place, and you have to know to keep it away from people, from busy places, from congested areas, uh, and, and then everybody can have a lot of fun, and we can do a lot of great stuff and get a lot of great footage as long as we're safe. And the air traffic controllers seem to want transponders in this, but transponders that they would be able to filter out unless this got into 
uh, dangerous airspace or closed airspace. Is that something that you could see happening and you support? Absolutely, 100%. We're so committed to the safety issue that we even have something that none of the other drone operators have available today. What is that? We have a dual control system. Um, so instead of having two different controllers, one for the camera, one for the unit, we decided to go a step farther. We have two controllers that can be tethered together for training purposes. I love so it. So you can have a master pilot on the controls while the other guy is learning, and if he loses control, all the pilot has to do is take the controls very quickly, and they can be 10, 20 feet away from each other. I love that, that is very good. Now, do you recommend going out with a spotter? I think that that's very important personally. Um, I've flown these things, I know what I'm talking about as far as flying them. You look up, you look down real quick, you look back up on a bright sunny day, it's very easy to lose it, even if it's still in your line of sight. Absolutely, 100%, anything that you can cause a problem with, whether it be cars, whether it be a commercial pilot's license, I believe that these things should be uh, regulated to the same issue. You need to have somebody with you at all times. Yeah. It's all about safety, nobody wants to have one of these fall on their head. Absolutely, or, or uh, you know, or cause an accident some other way by startling somebody and having them react and then have a chain reaction. I love that attitude. I, I'm 100% sold on Pro Drone. I want one, I think the price point is great, and I love that you stand behind safety and, 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 and you say, hey listen, I could sell more by telling you maybe that you, you should just fly by yourself, but let's build in these safety features, let's get regulations, let's get it all in place, and let's make sure that everybody does it right and safety, safely, and I think that that's important. And I said to the FAA, quite frankly, I said, listen, I don't understand why somebody who's going to do this for commercial purposes has to have a license or an exemption, a 333 exemption, yet somebody who just wants to have fun with it doesn't. And I'll give you a specific example that I gave them. I said, so a guy who's a real estate agent, let's take video production and all that out right. of it, because then I'm biased, right? Let's take that out of it. I'm a real estate agent now, you have a house to sell. I come to your house, you're going to give me 3%, I'm now, we're now mm -hmm. in a commercial relationship. I want to fly a drone to get aerials of your house. It could help me get the swimming pool in there, the tennis court, uh, the beautiful uh, backyard you have, the 2.3 acres of land, and this could really help sell your house. We can both make some money off of that. I also want to sell the next guy's house, so I'm going to be more responsible about this, and every day I'm probably using the drone so I'm trained and I'm comfortable with flying it. But I can't fly it, so I can come to your house and say, listen, here's the drone, watch some videos online, and good luck, I'll be back in a day to pick it up, and uh, I'll take that video and photos from you, and we'll post it up, because we really need that to help sell your house. Again, without a 333 exemption Indeed. and a pilot's license, I can't fly it, but now I've given it to you, you're doing it for your own fun, and you can fly it, crash it, drop it on a highway, cause a chain reaction, having no knowledge, having no care, maybe you're irresponsible, or maybe your kid who's 12 picks it up, and he goes, this is fun, and you can cause all sorts of havoc, and you might not. They're pretty easy to fly, and there's no reason for them to not be safe, but accidents do happen. Why would I have to be licensed, and this guy not? I think right. let's license everybody, let's put registration and tail numbers, and let's get them insured, so if there is an accident, not only is somebody responsible, the accident can be covered. Indeed, let's get uh, everybody insured, like you said. Let's get these things used for uh, commercial purposes. Uh, we want to work with Michael Huerta and the rest of the FAA to make sure that's done as safely as possible. And let's get some money made for everybody out there. Yes, and, and, and money made as long as everybody's safe, it's perfect, it's fine. I'm all for capitalism. This is America, baby, I love <laughs> America. I love the American way of life. Indeed. And I love what you're doing. I love that you said, okay, everybody else has got a product. We're going to make it better make it better, make it better in every way, and we're going to stand behind safety. Thank you so much. What about uh, an app to train on? Do you have a, a training app? Uh, we do have an app um, that allows uh, you know, all the different extra features for uh, the HD video downlink for the uh, uh, first person viewing. Um, you know, and the, the, other issue, uh, the other issue of safety there again, uh, for those individuals who really don't want to become that drone pilot, the expert, and put the time in uh, to be safe, we actually have the waypoint system to where Excellent. they can just hit one button, the drone flies itself, and that's actually at the end of the day going to be a lot safer than somebody who hasn't put the time in sure. to really be a pilot. And, and have you, um have you guys put uh, videos on training on this on your, on your site? We will have them up uh, by tomorrow. Excellent, very, very cool. I love this, I think it's phenomenal. I'm very impressed. I think it's quite honestly the best drone I've seen. I have to put that in practice to tell you 100%, but from a uh, conceptual standpoint, from a technical standpoint, absolutely, and I love everything you're saying. Uh, very impressive, thank you so much for joining us. Indeed, my Prodrone pleasure. ProDrone.com? Yes, uh, ProDrone-Tech.com.
ProDrone-Tech.com, ProDrone-Tech.com. Hopefully we'll get a chance to do a tech review for you terrifics on it and get our hands on it, but I love it. I think it's awesome. You got to check it out, ProDrone-Tech.com. We'll be back with a whole lot more of your live continuing Photo Plus Expo 2015 official exclusive coverage on Be Terrific. You are the Terrifics. You make Be Terrific special right after this.